SNL celebrates 40 years of laughs. There's always been a certain pride at the network in Saturday Night Live. So, what are the secrets to the show's success? Lauren Michaels, SNL's creator and executive producer, revealed all to E.T. in 1985. The fact of it is, is that it's done in real time and that people staying at home know that what they're seeing is honest and that, that there's this party, if you will, going on between 11.30 and 1, uh, on, mostly on Channel 4. And that, uh, there's, and that everything can fail and that there's danger. Number one, the real-time pressure. First of all, the show is incredibly hard to do for a performer. I mean, it's, it's a grind because it, things are being changed all, all the time. And in what we do, you can do 60 or 70 parts in a year and a season, maybe even more. And you can take lots of risks. For example, when Gilda did Roseanne, Rosanna Dana, originally that wig she wore as a, a, as a very small part in a sketch Michael O'Donoghue had written. And she liked the wig, liked, you know, got an attitude in the wig, and uh, came in and said she thought she could do this character. For somebody to run into a wig doesn't happen normally, you know. It, it happens when you're working in that kind of pressure and you're desperate for things to do. Number two, the cast trusts their instincts. The, the fact that you can't possibly fill that much time means that you take chances on, almost on an unconscious level. You sort of do things that you can't actually remember why you did them, and that if you thought them through, you would never do, ever. Mary Kay Letourneau and her former student, Billy Falau, were married Thursday night. According to witnesses, she wore Vera Wang while he wore Spider-Man. <laughs> Number three, the show isn't scared to say what people are really thinking. There has to be a place where people can say, say the things that, that don't uh, uh, naturally come out in, say, family ties. Number four, the writers and actors stick to what they know. I sort of built it around the things that uh, I was interested in, which was sort of uh, music and, and comedy and, uh, and political uh, uh, comedy and, and films. And, and then you, finding the mix is just dependent on the people who are doing it. Number five, only the best get the job. You try and find what you, what you hope are the best and brightest people that you can, uh, that you can get. And then uh, they all come together on that 17th floor at, at Rockefeller Center and you, you, the show always reflects what they're interested in. And some of them are kids, and some are interested in politics, and some are interested in movies. And number six, love what you do. It will show through. I think that the key to it was uh, that we always did the show for ourselves. Thank you, Lauren Michaels, for creating this amazing show and continuing to make us all laugh all these years. You could see the SNL 40th anniversary special when it airs on NBC this Sunday.